today's video, we're going to break down the new capital raids feature so that you and your clan are ready to win massive loot. What's going on, my friends? My name is Joe. Welcome back to the show. And today, let's get into the reason why you and your clanmates are building up this series of bases on the clan capital. Capital raids are epic battles where you can test your entire clan's might against enemy clan capitals. Capital raids will begin every Friday and end on the following Monday. Hence the term raid weekend. Clan leaders and co-leaders can opt your clan in to participate in a raid weekend. If opted in, when the raid weekend begins, your clan will be matched up against another clan capital. However, this is not direct head-to-head -head battles like you see in Clan War. Think of it more like a multiplayer attack where you're attacking a base, but they're not attacking you back. Damage during a capital raid is persistent, meaning when you attack a base and don't destroy it, your clanmate will be able to pick up right where you left off. Traps will not rearm between attacks, so any traps that were triggered by a previous attacker will remain triggered. Spells will also remain for one attack after they are cast. An example, you drop a rage spell in your attack, it will still be active when your clanmate follows up and attacks that same bait. Now this is a very important note to remember about this system. Each player in your clan that's participating in the raid weekend gets 5 attacks only throughout the entire raid weekend. Now if a player does go in finishing off a base and 3 starring, they will pick up one bonus attack. Now you can only gain one bonus attack for the entire raid weekend. Destroying buildings will reward players with capital gold. If you are the player who three stars the base, any remaining troops that are not deployed will provide additional capital gold based on the housing space total of troops that are left over. When your clan completely destroys all districts to include the capital peak, your clan will be given another clan capital to destroy. At the end of the raid weekend, only players who participated in the raids will earn raid medals based on the destroyed districts and how well your districts managed to defend against enemy attacks. Now, one major question I'm sure we're going to see quite a bit is that can I participate in multiple raid weekends? And the answer is nope. If you are locked in on one clan's raid weekend, you cannot jump to a different clan and do raid weekend there. Every member in your clan will have access to the troops and spells unlocked on your clan's capital regardless of their town hall level. The level of troops and spells is based on the barracks and spell factories you have upgraded on your district. Districts. So it is important that your clan coordinates with each other on the best strategy to start and finish off each base. A really good example of what this means exactly is that the other day when we were doing raid weekend practice, I went in on a base that had a lot of air defenses and I used a ground army to eliminate those defenses. My clanmate, however, followed up with an air army to finish off and three star the base. When your clan attacks an enemy clan capital, you will not be able to immediately attack the capital peak. You will need to work your way up three starring all districts before the capital peak unlocks. Each district will likely require coordination with multiple players since it will be challenging for a single player to three star a district alone without using all five of their attacks. So yes, you can attack the same district more than once. However, you got to be weary that you only have five attacks throughout the entire raid weekend. So I strongly advise against it. The troop deployment zone is dynamic based on how much of a district has been conquered. Although the deployment zone may start off small, the more territory of a base you conquer, the larger the deployment zone grows, allowing for greater tactical advantages. Now remember that your clan leader and co-leaders are the only ones that can do any type of editing on all of the bases on the clan capital. So if you're in there watching some replays, make sure that you point out the deficiencies on defense with your bases. Any changes made to a layout during a raid weekend will not go into effect until the raid is over. 
essentially meaning capital layout changes during a raid weekend won't go into effect for any ongoing defensive raid. With this new feature also comes brand new defenses and a mixture of known defenses. Everyone is familiar with walls, but on the clan capital we will get to see the concept of gates in action. And when you upgrade walls with contributions, all of them upgrade simultaneously per level. The rocket artillery is an area splash defense that hurls exploding rockets at both air and ground targets, which somehow never seem to miss. The blast bow is a much larger version of the expo that produces area splash damage when it fires a tree-sized bolt at both ground and air targets. The multi-cannon is a ground defense that functions similar to the double cannon gear up option on your home village but this version fires an eight round burst at enemy target. The Super Dragon, Super Giant, and Raid Cart Posts are new defenses on the clan capital. They function very similar to the guard post on the builder base. Once the post is destroyed, the troops attached are released to roam free and disrupt your attack just like a clan castle defense on the home village. Similar to the standard air defense, the rapid rockets are much faster version with a shorter range. This new aerial defense is a single target type that fires a five round burst at its enemy. The spear tower is a smaller version of the blast bow, which throws big spears at its enemies on the ground and in the air. The zap trap is a new single target defense that pops up and zaps nearby passing ground and air troops. And the log trap is a spring loaded log that fires in a single direction to disrupt approaching ground troops. And then the rest of the defenses on the clan capital should feel very familiar to most of you guys. I mean, we got the cannon, the air defense, the inferno tower, the giant cannon, mega Tesla, bomb tower, multi mortar, air bombs, the crusher, and then naturally the mines and mega mines. Lastly, the terrain on the clan capital bases add a never before seen dynamic to base defense. Buildings cannot be placed on water and ground troops will require the frost spell to cross over frozen water tiles. Flying troops can bypass water with ease. The cliff terrain demonstrates a change in elevation, meaning ground troops cannot bypass cliff terrain but will need to walk around. Aerial troops, however, can fly over these cliffs to targets on the other side. Buildings cannot be placed on bridges, but ground units can cross over them. With this new feature, high IQ base builders can use this terrain to create choke points which will funnel ground troops to your defensive damage. So over Overall, that is the clan raid feature. Now, it's going to be very confusing at first until you get your hands on this update because a lot of you guys have been doing clan warp for probably years and you really just can't wrap your head around the concept of two or three or more players attacking a base to take it down. That's a very difficult concept to understand for a lot of players. Now my opinion on the clan capital is that it's a really new and exciting way to play Clash of Clans but I also feel like a lot of this content was more than likely originally intended for the home village and it just didn't make it on there because I don't think Clash wanted to drastically change how you played the home village side and how you did the clan war. But then again, we really don't know what the future has in store for us and this game. What do you guys think? Drop it down in the comments below and let me know how excited you are for this brand new clan capital update. And if you enjoyed today's content, make sure to leave a like on the video, consider subscribing, and we will see you in the next video.